Hey everybody, my name is Zach Mitchell and I'm here for another music vlog. Today, guess what I'm going to talk about? That's right, my favorite singer of all time, Meatloaf. I'm going to be reviewing and rating all of his uh, albums. I have everything that he's ever done, so um, let's start off with his very first album that he made um, in 1977 and the very first Meatloaf album I ever heard, Bad Outta Hell. This is my favorite album of all time. Um, um, I'd probably say my favorite song on this is probably the title track. Although, For Crying Out Loud is a very, very close second. Um, the next album that he made uh, in 1981, after he had some uh, vocal problems that he finally got rid of, and it's Dead Ringer, another really, really, really great album. Um, I'd probably have to say my favorite song on this is either Peel Out or I'll Kill You If You Don't Come Back, but it's kind of hard to say because they're just so good. Any song that Jim Steinman writes that uh, Meatloaf sings is just outstanding. Now, the next album that he made in 1983, without any Jim Steinman songs on it, which was the very first time that that's ever happened, and it's Midnight at the Lost and Found. Um, I don't play it that often, but when I do, I would have to say my favorite song is probably the title track. Um, there's, I don't really, I'm not really into. Uh, all the other stuff on it. I, I kind of have to probably have to listen to it a few more times, but I don't know. Uh, the next one was it was next year, 1984, and it was uh, Bad Attitude, which features the title track is a duet between him and the Who's Roger Daltrey, an amazing song. Um, probably my favorite song on this is Modern Girl. I'd have to say. This is a really great album. Next up, this album, uh, apparently, I just found out this uh, the other day, is out of print. So I feel very lucky to have it because a used copy of it uh, on Amazon to buy is $78. That's the cheapest one. So I feel very lucky to have this. And it's blind before I stop. I'd probably have to say this is my least favorite album of his. Um, there's not. I just... It, it's just too 80s sounding to me and to me the 80s didn't really have a lot of music a lot of good music so I mean he was I think he was just trying to keep with the times but um, if I had to pick a favorite song I'd have to say uh, it would be One More Kiss which then morphs into Blind Before I Stop so that's that one next up is a live album that he did in 1987 at the Wembley Hall and it's just Meatloaf Live has a bunch of live tracks like uh, Bad Out of Hell, uh, Modern Girl, Blind Before I Stop, You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth, lots of others. Um, the next one was in 1993 and it returned him to popularity, got him his very first number one single and reunited him with Jim Steinman, Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell. Oh my goodness, I'm really stuck when I have to pick my favorite song on this because there's just so many good ones. I'd have to, pro if I had a gun to my head, I would probably have to pick Good Girls Go to Heaven. Although, I'd Do Anything for Love is really good. And so is Rock and Roll Dreams. And I really like Out of the Frying Pan. Um, the track Life is a Lemon is good, but um, I don't really like the version on this album, and I'll get to that in a minute, so that ought to help too. The next one was uh, 1994 or 1990, no, 1996, I believe. Yes, it was. And it was another superb album, which is Welcome to the Neighborhood. This is the deluxe edition that I have. I also have the regular edition, but... I first heard this um, when I was a senior in high school, and it was just brilliant. One of the best albums I had ever heard. I'd have to say my favorite song is probably 
where the rubber meets the road, which then morphs into I'd lie for you, and that's the truth. And he does a very good version of Jim Steinman's Left in the Dark on this album, too. Next is another live album, Live Around the World, which is a little complication album of a bunch of live tracks that he did uh, from a bunch of shows in 1993. Very, very nice. I like uh, that little picture there of him and Jim Steinman up on stage. I think that's really cool. So, Live, um, live Around the World. Another live album. This is uh, his VH1 show, Storytellers. Just a little... Uh, his live show, which uh, has his, him telling the story of each song before he, they play it. Nothing really special there. But. Next up is an out-of-print Greatest Hits album of his, which is the very best of Meatloaf. And this one has a remixed version of uh, Life is a Lemon and I Want My Money Back, which I think is superior to the original ver album version. I think that this one is much better. So I think it's on the Essential Meatloaf album, which I have. So if you want to check it out and you can't find this, check out the Essential Meatloaf. Another good album. Um, Meatloaf couldn't have said it better myself. And the album is okay. But, I mean, it's... It's good, but to me it's not his best. And my favorite song on this is probably Testify. The next Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster is Loose. This came out in 2006, and it was kind of disappointing when we first listened to it. And I thought it was too, but after listening to it a few more times, it just grew on me and it became great. I love it. And my favorite song on this is Bad for Good, his version. Bad for Good. We're getting close to the end here. This is another live album that I really don't think he intended to release, but it came out with uh, his Three Bats live DVD. And this is just a ripped audio from the DVD. And they make, turned it into an album. It's the Three Bats Live, which is his show in Ontario. So. Only two more left. This one came out in 2010. It's Hand Cool Teddy Bear, which is a really great uh, concept album um, about a soldier that dies and has his whole life flash before his eyes as he dies. And my favorite song on this is either Los Angeles Loser or Peace on Earth. And last but not least, his latest album, Hell in a Handbasket, which um, I got the very day it came out. And I didn't like it at first, but I listened to it a few more times, and it's grown on me. It's pretty good. I'd have to say my favorite song on it is probably um, Mad Mad World, and that then morphs into the rap version, which is called The Good God is a Woman and She Don't Like Ugly, which has Chuck D on vocals. So, that's all of my Meatloaf albums, and I would love to hear, if you have any, what your favorite Meatloaf albums are in the comment section below. So, until then, rate, comment, and subscribe, because there's a lot more videos coming. I'll see you next time.